Welcome to Sunday Sensei Says number 36. My name is Jem Johnson. We're shooting in the Warehouse West Melbourne, where we've just launched our exciting new focus group training, You Build Your Summer Bodies in Winter uh, promotion. Um, now, the lesson of the day is that you have time to be healthy. Life is the longest thing you will ever do. Regardless of what you believe in, I know I believe in reincarnation, but regardless of whether you're into an afterlife or whatever you think, um, Life is the longest experience that we know we can have. So you do have time. There will be years ahead. This too shall pass, as the Italian aphorism says. No matter what you're going through right now, this too shall pass. I really like that concept. But you have time to be healthy. Uh, thanks to modern medicine, modern science, modern nutrition, it's possible to live to 120. The oldest person in the world was 122. That's so many years that we have at our disposal. And it's a gift, and it's a miracle. We can live 120 years. In that time frame, surely you can find you know, a few years to be really healthy. Maybe you have a year in which you can get into the best shape of your life. Of course you could, you've got 122 years to play with. I don't know about you, but my goal, one of my life ambitions, is simply to live to 100. I believe that I will live to 100. And that affords me some time. It takes the pressure off a lot of stuff. If I go through a bad period of my life, look, I'm gonna live for 100 years. So. There'll be some cycles, there'll be some ups and downs, there'll be some seasons in my life, and I've accepted that. Life is long, I have time to do all the things that I want to do. One could, if one so desired, practice a certain skill set, or a certain kind of fitness, or even a certain diet for a period of time. You could say to yourself, this year I'm going to be a crossfitter, that's all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go nuts on crossfit, and that's going to be my focus, and at the end of the year, move on to something else, and I take up a martial art, spend a year studying karate, for example. You could do the same thing with all forms of fitness, yeah? The year I was a runner, the year I was a bodybuilder, the year I decided to get into Olympic weightlifting, the year I decided to you know, take up a totally random sport and just do soccer or footy or cricket or something for a year. All good options. I encourage it. I think that'd be awesome. Um, and so long as you're willing to change and grow and think and shift your way of living, then you can do it all. We've got time to do it all. <laughs> I'm not saying this is what you should do, is that it's scattered. If you did everything and kept changing and kept changing and kept changing, I mean, it's a bit sort of chaotic and it means that you'd never stick to one thing for long enough to be really, really good at it. But you try so many different kinds of fitness and surely you'd find one, yeah? Over 122 years, you'd find one that you love and that you can stick to. So keep trying, keep changing. If you're doing the exact same thing you were doing last year, you're probably going to get the exact same results. If you were overweight last year and you haven't changed anything, you're likely to be overweight this year. So here's a concept. Keep trying new forms of training. Start a new sport. Start a new form of fitness training, yeah? In my experience in the fitness industry, there's so many different types of exercise. And I'm, you know, I've got like training ADD and I want to try everything and I want to do everything. And that's a cool way to go because it means you can Mix it up and learn different things. As soon as you're bored of one thing, there's always another style. Take up gymnastics. Probably the hardest fitness in the world. <laughs> there's always something else. Guess what? As always, it's the same with nutrition. You could try a different diet every year until you find the perfect one for you. Wouldn't that be fascinating? If you were just vegetarian for, 20, for 12 months, and in those 12 months, you took a good objective look at yourself and said, right, how do I feel? Where's my health at? Where's my weight at? Did vegetarian work for me? Maybe I'll try something else. Switch to a paleo diet for a year. Switch to a ketogenic diet, which is a really interesting one, where you rely mostly on saturated fats. It's a good concept. Experiment with different kinds of fitness, experiment with different kinds of nutrition until you find what's perfect for you. But be aware that this is a bit scattered, and if you find something that you love, stick to it. Don't give it up. I'm not suggesting you give up anything. I'm just suggesting that you open your mind and broaden your, broaden your horizons and consider trying all the different types of fitness because guess what? You have time. Cool. Good. Done. Next. If you've enjoyed this episode of Sunday Sensei Says, please check out my website www.theurbanjunglegym.com or check us out on Facebook under Melbourne Fit Club.